What's up everyone, this is Aim for Survival. I've been out scouting around shooting videos today, but we're gonna show you how to attach Tomahawk to Molly. Stay tuned. So as we get started, I like to carry a uh, axe, a hatchet, tomahawks work very well for me. Now this one is a CRKT tomahawk. This is the Chogan. It does have a hammer pole and a slight beard on the front. However, I may not want to carry it in my hand. I may want my camera in my hand. I may have to have something else in my hand. But point being, we all have these packs that have molly on them. Now this one, as you can see, does have the little buckles. However, a lot of our packs do not. When I bought this, that was my intention. That was what I liked about it. It has buckles on top, bottom, and the sides. But what if yours don't? Let's go ahead and find a table and show you a demonstration. So here we are enjoying our Tennessee fine weather. We have a little bit of snow and sleet here in spring. This is April, so it's no surprise to me. Now, our subject matter is a molly bag and a tomahawk. What we want to do is free up our hands. There's several ways we can do this. Now for this example, because I do have these straps on the side, they will be a little bit of a distraction. So what we'll do is put our tomahawk center mass or center pack. Now that's a very good thing for balance. However, you might not be able to get to it without taking off your pack, but for this demonstration it'll do. Now just so you know, two things to keep in mind. When you do attach it to the side, you never want this blade facing you. You always want it facing away. Secondly, when it's on your pack, you do want a good sheath. You could fall back onto somebody you're hiking with and it could be a danger. Now for this pack, the way I run it, for demonstration here, because it normally would be on the other side, I run my buckle through this three-point leather mask, and then attach the second one over the pole so it does not wobble. Now this pack was picked for that specific reason. Did you notice it is away from me? And it is secure on there because of the leather loop. But if we don't have this loop, we might have to attach it up here. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So looking here, I went ahead and made two loops. One using 14 inch and the other using about 11, 11 half inch worth of cordage. We will start with the top one. Now as the weight will hang when we put our tomahawk on here, it will draw down. So what I want to do is start at the highest point I can. Run in my long loop through and back around. Notice it now makes a ring. I'll slide my tomahawk into this ring making sure it fits all the way up to the neck or in this case the leather sheath. And now for the second one find about where my handle ends and go up just a little higher. Running a loop through the molly once again. And what this will do will be keep it from wiggling too far side to side. Now as you see the tomahawk's head is up here. I do have a handle wrap however it will slide down. And it will wiggle. So, I definitely prefer the two-point carry system. So now, lifting our pack up, you can see the tomahawk fits on there nice and neatly. It does have a little wiggle, although that's not a problem. The goal was to get it onto the pack, and it's on there. No matter how much it gets jarred, it's not coming off. Now, it's going to wiggle around a little bit, and as you see, it does have a roll. So we could affix a secondary loop here and tie it over. Let's go ahead and do that now. Okay. Went ahead and produced another loop. This one was about 14 inches of cordage, maybe 15. What we'll do is start at the furthest molly point. Run our loop through, no surprise there. 
tighten it down. Now this time I was very careful not to have the knot on the loop part. It will get in the way. Now what we're going to do here is slide the beard through and pull the knot tight. Now that tomahawk won't wiggle around and become a danger to ourselves or anybody that we're walking with. Okay everybody, this has just been a real quick tip on how to attach tomahawk to molly webbing without going out and buying a specific sleeve for it. If you haven't already, I hope you like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, stay safe.